All right, uh, another problem. Looks like no more kind of output, just melee, and there's only melee right here. Interesting. So this is more about the states, getting to the state than anything. So let's draw our link paths. We have one right here. It's 10. Now we're going to draw the state table. So we start off with our link paths. One, two. Now let's separate them into states. So one and two come from one state. All right. And then our states are one. All right. And our Input variables are x1 and x2. Every one of these places is x1 and x2. x1 and x2. Okay, so we have a pattern here. x1 bar x2. x1 bar x2. x1 bar x2. x1 bar x2. We have the addition of x1, x2, and then x1 bar, x2 bar. Okay, so let's follow path two first. It's going to be a one when x1 is a zero and x2 is a one. A zero and a one. All others are going to be link path one. Zero, zero, one, zero, and one, one. Okay, let's do state it's the same thing. So link path three is going to be zero, zero, one zero one one and link path four is going to be zero one link path five oh let's not deal with five and six right now let's just deal with seven seven's a one one it gets picked off first and it looks like the one and the zero are switched so link path five gets the 0, 1. And link path 6, which is the failure, gets the remainder, which is 0, 0. And what else is missing? 1, 0. OK, now we're down here. And what gets picked off first? Uh, 0, 0 gets picked off and goes out link path 8. 0, 0. And then everything else comes out here. Um, we're back to the original, 0, 1, 0, 1. So 9 is going to be everything else. And 10 is going to be a 1, which is a 0, 1. So 9 is going to be everything else that's missing, which would be a 1, 0, and a 1, 1. All right. So this is our link path. This is our present state. These are our inputs. And now we're going to draw the next state. After receiving those inputs, what happens? So in link path 1, we go back to 1. In link path 2, we go from state 1 to state 2. Link path 3, we go back to state 1. And link path 4, we go down here to state 3. In 3, and link path 5, we stay at state 3. And link path 6, we go back to 1. And in 7, we go from state 3 to state 4. Why did I write 6? 1. In state 4, link path 8 we go back up to 1. In 9 we go back up to 1. And in 10 we go to 2. Our output Z is going to be a 0 everywhere except for here where it's set in link path 8. All right, 
So we're done with the state table, their algorithmic state machine state table. And ours doesn't look the same here as the books. They describe link path 8 and 9 a little bit differently. Looks like their link path 8 is this one, and their 9 is this one, and then 10 is the one that actually has an output. So we're just going to go with theirs. So our next step is to build the transition table. The book has this strange notation up here. One, don't care, don't care, zero, all for the same link path. Um, we just had uh, three values, zero, 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 one, no. That was down here, one, zero, and one, one. So I'm just not going to mess with this. These don't cares are uh, misleading because they're overlapping with each other. And I don't want to think about that right now. In our goal to build a transition table, what we want is to turn these present states into Q values. We have four states, so that will give us two flip-flops. Let's see, one goes to state two. Let's just do this. State two goes to one, and state two goes to three. Well, that's redundant. State 3 goes to 1, and it goes to 4. 4 goes to 1, and 4 goes to 2. All right. If we're going to use just two flip-flops, then this is what our state assignment table is going to look like. It looks like 4 is the most complicated. It's got to go to 1, 2, and 3. That'll never work. That's impossible. So let's just do our best. 4 is going to go to 1, and it's going to go to 2, and 3. Well, now we've got 2-bit two state, two bit transition for 1 to go to 2. 2 to go to 3 is 1. 3 to go to 1 is 1. 3 to go to 4 is 2. 4 to go to 1 is 1. And 4 to go to 2 is, is 1. So we've got two 2-bit two transitions. But let's just number them. So this will, wherever there's a 1, we're going to cross it off and put in a 0, 0. All right. So I'm not going to bother redrawing it. Yeah, that's what they did. Oh, no, they made three a 1-1. One, one. Oh. So let's check that uh, state assignment, right? So we're going to draw the state, same thing, do the same analysis right here, see if that's better. So this was 0, 1, 0, 1. So 1, state 1 was a 0, 0. We did state. 2 as a 0, 1. State 3 they did as a 1, 1. And state 4 they did as a 1, 0. All right, so we've got a 1 to 2 is a 1-bit transition. 2 to 3 is a 1-bit transition. 3 to 1 is a 2-bit transition. Let's see, 3 to 4 is a 1-bit transition. 4 to 1 is a 1-bit transition. 4 to 2 is a 2-bit transition. So it's no better. All right, let's just go with theirs. OK, so. We've got the transition table. The next step is the excitation table. And looks like we're just supposed to draw the D flip-flops, so that's the exact same thing. 
So the next step is to find the equations. So these are our inputs. We just have three outputs. Z right here is going to be, well, we can just write it. Z equals Q1, Q2 bar, everything else is bar. Q1, Q2 bar, X1 bar, X2 bar. Now let's focus on Q1, Q1 in our next Q1. Our Carnot map looks like this. All right, first row. Well, if Q1 and Q2 are zero, it's zero. It doesn't matter. Okay, so Q1, these are all zeros, all right? Zeros, zero, one. Okay, in one case, Q1, our next Q1 is a one, and it's in the zero, one, zero, one. So there's a one right there. The rest of these are zeros. All right, here. One, one. Okay. Yeah, one case where it's a zero, the output right here is a zero. One case, the output's a zero, and it's when of a one, one, don't care, zero. One, one, don't care, zero. We have a zero. One, one, don't care, zero. We have a zero. The rest of these are ones. Okay. And then if it's a one, zero, they're all zeros. So Q1 plus is what? We've got an implicant here and one right here. So Q1 plus is going to equal Q2, X1 bar, X2. So that's this one. And then this one is or Q1 Q2, X2. X1 is changing its mind. All right, and then Q2 plus 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 001. Okay, and it's the same patterns that don't care, so everything's the same. So 0, 0, 0, 001 is a 1. 0, 0, 0, 001 is a 1 in both cases. So that's this one and that one. One 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 is a one. One one zero one is a one. One one zero one is a one. Otherwise, it's a zero. Okay, so that's this one. And this one is one zero zero one. One zero zero one. All right. So Q two is easy. Right? Our next Q2 is what? It doesn't matter what Q1 and Q2 are, it's just X1 bar X2. Boy, you can't see that from here. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, 